Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday here, August 16th. Quiet day on the economic calendar. We do have, uh, I guess, building permits. Nobody cares about that. We do have Matson speaking from the Norwich's banks, who are obviously running some uh, Euro Norway here. We'll be watching that. Uh, but as far as the calendar looks, it looks like we might be in for a little bit of a quiet day. Certainly, um, a quiet European morning when the Yanks get in. We'll see what the stock market does, and, and that may liven things up a bit. Let's start today with this Euro chart. Um, 58 the high yesterday, went down to 89. Now we're just sitting here at the figure, 95.12 overnight. Um, what can we say? Looks uh, looks like this is just a continuation, uh, as we talked about yesterday. That this is just going to probe now these these lows of the year, this 110.30 area. Uh, why do we think this? Basically, it's the boons. I mean, uh, more insanity in the boon chart last night. I mean, look at that. What was the high? 179.70. Craziness uh, in boons. Yield now 71 minus 71 basis points. Uh, and until this boon chart turns, uh, Euro is going to be under the cosh. So core short uh, seems to be the way in sort of a grindy, uh, lower kind of situation. Cable got what we wanted yesterday. Prices through 121 the figure, yielded 121.50. We're trading around the long side on this uh, very, very casually just because of the political situation. Uh, but this looks like it wants to turn. Uh, we got a bit of a tail yesterday, and obviously we closed uh, a bit lower. Did shift down to 80. Back now at the figure. Um, we like cable higher in general. I wonder if you could redraw this. It just feels like cable uh, wants to turn. And you can express this through short Euro Sterling, which was sort of our natural position yesterday. Short Euros, long cable, kind of short Euro Sterling by mistake. Uh, but um, you can express this through short euro, euro sterling, or you can express this through sterling yen, uh, which just makes absolutely no sense. But the market's very short this. So, you know, you had this doji on the 12th, big up day. Um, that was the Tuesday. I don't know, it just feels like feels like Sterling wants to turn, even though it makes no sense. And we're still in the middle of this Brexit nonsense. Um, so we're going to be playing Cable from the long side, Euro from the short side today. Uh, we'll be trading these positions now. We have three big down days here in Euro, so we're expecting some consolidation at some point here. So, you know, we'll be selling uh, between, say, 20 and 30 today. We'll be buying between uh, 85 and 65, rinse and repeat type trading for that position. What else we got here? I didn't see what the Mexican Central Bank did, but doesn't look like a lot happened. I guess we went up to 79. Now we're back at 58. Um, I don't know what to do with Mex. Looks like we're looks like we're 
we've run into some serious resistance up here at 1975-80 area. Um, the guys that I talk to who like to trade this are talking about a lot, a lot of longs uh, came into the market yesterday and makes me wonder uh, if this is getting a bit crowded, uh, notoriously difficult to trade. Worried about dollar max longs. So if you're long out there, I would say uh, pay attention, be careful. Let's flip over the Oz here. 68.20, very, very, very important. This thing's been a pain in, pain in the ass for us this week. Um, and so we're not going to pre-trade this or anything, but certainly if you look on the weekly chart, uh, this thing wants to turn. It makes no sense turning, but certainly wants to turn. Prices above 68.20 will signal for us to uh, get on the long side. Finally, equities. Wild day yesterday, up, down, up, down, uh, up to 70, down to 30, up to 70, closed at 50. Really a nothing day in the end. Looking for consolidation today. We should take out some weak shorts um, above 70 today. We'll be looking again on the short side. Uh, I think we'll sell probably between 75 and 85 today just to kind of job a short position around, um, grab some cash. The volatility is enormous, uh, which is great, but you can't really marry anything with this comment-driven trade war uh, mess that's going on. So we'll be selling high ones today in equities. Just kind of retain that short bias with a sort of day trader mentality. Crude, 55.33, a little bit higher. We think this is going to roll over. We're basically just waiting for 50 bucks here. Uh, that's going to be a very sexy trade. Um, It'll be interesting, I guess, if we can get down through 53.83. That'll be kind of like first leg lower. Nothing really to do in crude today. Um, but we're just kind of waiting and watching for signals that we're going to attack the $50 area. Anyway, that's all we got today. Uh, trading Euro from the short side trading it, uh, looking to get long cable, uh, and selling high ones in stocks today. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough, and uh, have a good weekend. I'll talk to you guys all on Monday. Ciao.